Dr. Haver, I want to turn for a minute to questions that have come in. Um, you have many. Here's <laughs> the first one. Um, does compounded progesterone is, I think, is compounded progesterone safe to use if prescribed by my primary? So um, I've, I've dug into the literature on this and, you know, I think it's ACOG and Menopause Society both are very wary of compounded progesterone. One, remember that, you know, I use compounding for different things. I love having options, but it is not my go-to and I don't compound progesterone cream. Progesterone is a very large molecule and it's very difficult to get it through the skin. It is micronized orally in the form of prometrium or oral micronized progesterone, um, you know, for that form. But there is a big worry in the medical societies that the compounding progesterone is not going to be able to get your level high enough to protect the lining of the uterus and that you will be at risk for endometrial hyperplasia when you're taking estrogen at the same time. So I don't recommend it. Every compounding pharmacy is different. They're not yeah. regulated by the FDA, which means for most of these pharmacies, no one's going in and testing the batches to make sure exactly what they say is in it is in it. So when um, this was a study done that looked at the top 12 like hormone compounding pharmacies, I'm not, not going to name them, and they found about a, I think it was a 40% discrepancy of of, wow. you know, quality control, whereas FDA approves, you know, has a 2% discrepancy. So that's the kind of differences we're talking about. This is a safety issue. So yeah. for that reason, I do not recommend um, compounding your progesterone. We just don't seem to be able to get enough penetrated through the skin to get the levels high enough to protect the endometrium. 